Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Kung bago ka sa channel ko, please consider subscribing. Today, I would like to share with you the rules of divisibility. These rules will help us determine if a given number is divisible by another number without actually performing the division process. So, this would be a trick para isang tingin mo pa lang sa number, alam mo agad kung divisible siya by another number. Divisibility by true. If a given number is even, meaning the last digit end in 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0, then the number is divisible by true. So, in Tagalog, kahit gaano pa kahaba yung number na yan, basta ang number ay nag end sa number 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0, yung number na yan ay divisible by 2. Gaya ng example natin dito sa baba. Ang number nito ay nag end sa number 8. Ibig sabihin, ang malaking number nito ay divisible by 2. Paano naman ang mga numbers nito? Alin sa mga numbers nito ang divisible by 2? Divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the given number is divisible by 3. Gaya ng nasa example na ito. So, ang dapat mong gawin ay i-add mo ang lahat ng numbers. Dahil ang total o sum ng mga numbers nito ay 15, at ang 15 ay divisible by 3, Ibig sabihin, ang malaking number na to ay divisible by 3. Paano naman ang mga numbers na ito? Divisibility by 4. If the last two digits of the number is divisible by 4, then the given number is divisible by 4. Gaya ng nasa example na to. Ang titingnan ng natin ay yung last two digits ng number, which is 40. And since 40 is divisible by 4, ibig sabihin ang malaking number na to ay divisible by 4. Paano naman ang mga numbers na ito? Divisibility by 5 if the number ends in 5 or 0, then the number is divisible by 5. 
So, this time, very straightforward. Kahit gaano pa kahaba ang number, basta nag-end siya sa 5 or 0, then yung number na yan ay divisible by 5. Gaya ng example sa baba. Eh, paano naman ang mga numbers na ito? Divisibility by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then the given number is divisible by 6. So, dito, dalawa ang titingnan natin. Pag nakita natin ang isang number, una, titingnan muna natin kung divisible ba siya by 2. So, meaning, ang huling number niya ay dapat nag end sa 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. After nun, titingnan naman natin kung divisible siya by 3. So again, ia-add natin lahat ng numbers. At kapag ang answer ay divisible by 3, then ang number na yon ay both divisible by 2 and by 3. Ibig sabihin, ang given number ay divisible then by 6. Paano naman ang mga numbers na ito? So, to summarize, divisible by 2, Last number should be an even number. Divisible by 3. Sum of the numbers should be divisible by 3. Divisible by 4. Last two digits should be divisible by 4. Divisible by 5. Last digit should be 0 or 5. And lastly, divisible by 6. The number should be both divisible by 2 and 3. That's it for today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if this is helpful for you on the comments section and give it a thumbs up and um, if you have not yet subscribed, please please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified pag may mga bago tayong tutorial videos. Again, this is Mel. God bless you all and please stay safe. Goodbye!